Good day, team blessings. Today, we are going to rationalize some of the board exam questions in criminology licensure examination in the subject area of criminalistics. So let's proceed. Number 1. A person who has in his other body fluids, the same blood, group factors. A. Secretor. B. Non-secretor. C. Neutral. D. Antidote. The correct answer is letter A. Secretor. Secretor status is refers to the presence, or absence of, water-soluble blood group antigens, in a person's bodily fluids, such as saliva, tears, breast milk, urine, and semen. People who secrete these antigens in their bodily fluids, are referred to as secretors, meaning, that antigens present in the blood, are also, found in other body fluids, such as saliva, while, people who do not, are called, non-secretors, because, they have only antigen, in their blood, according to study, around 80% of the people around the world, are secretors, and the other 20% are, non-secretors. What is your secretor status? Let us know, in the comment section below. On the other hand, an antidote is a substance, that can counteract, a form of poisoning, here is just a distraction again the correct answer for number one is letter a secretor number two test used to confirm blood is of human origin a benzodyne b diphenylamine c precipitin d marquee reagent The correct answer is letter C, precipitin. The precipitin test is used for the identification of human blood or blood from other sources. It is a routine procedure in all forensic science laboratories. While benzodyne test is a sensitive test used for the presence of blood in urine or feces based on the production of a blue color upon contact with the solution of benzodyne hydrogen peroxide and glacial acetic acid diphenylamine test is used for determining the presence of nucleic acids the presence of dna will turn a solution blue the more dna present the darker the color negative results indicates a clear solution the diphenylamine itself is a chemical solution added to paraffin cast that will react with the gunpowder appear as blue specks while marquee reagent is used as a simple spot test to presumptively identify alkaloids as well as other compounds it is composed of a mixture of formaldehyde and concentrated sulfuric acid which is dripped onto the substance being tested Again, the correct answer for number 2, is letter C, precipitin. Number 3, the conduct of a poisoning operation, over a long period of time is A. Gas, poisoning, B. Chronic poisoning, C. Corrosive poisoning, D. Organic vegetables, poisoning, The correct answer is letter B, chronic poisoning. Chronic poisoning is a long-term repeated or continuous exposure to a poison where symptoms do not occur immediately or after each exposure. While gas poisoning is caused by inhaling any of various toxic gases, carbon monoxide, 
is considered to be the most toxic gas, as it shows high affinity to homoglobin. It's also called the silent killer because of its colorless, odorless, tasteless, and non-irritating Corrosive poisoning is the ingestion of caustic or corrosive agents like phosphoric acid or sulfuric acid that can cause direct injury to tissue upon exposure, which might lead to oral pain, ulcerations, and abdominal pain. Organic vegetable poisoning is caused by eating vegetables and leafy greens that has been contaminated with harmful bacteria such as E. coli, salmonella, and listeria. This can happen if food is not cooked or reheated thoroughly. Again, the correct answer for number 3 is letter B, chronic poisoning. Number 4, one of the general types of polygraph test is known as A. Truth Serum Test B. Intelligent Test C. Macroanalysis Test D. Peak of Tension Test The correct answer is letter D. Peak of Tension Test Peak of Tension Test it is used as a follow-up test after the examinee is found deceptive to a basic test presented previously and evaluates the examinee's pattern of responses for evidence of involvement in the incident it is measured when the blood pressure and other parameters of the examinee peep at the question while truth serum test is also known as narcoanalysis test it is a form of psychotherapy and effective aid to scientific interrogation in the narcoanalysis test a drug like sodium amyl is used as a truth drug on the suspect for the determination of facts about the crime it is also called the amyl interview An intelligent test is an assessment that measures a range of cognitive abilities and provides a score that is intended to serve as a measure of an individual's intellectual abilities and potential. IQ tests are among the most administered psychological tests. Again, the correct answer for number 4 is letter D, peak of tension test. Number 5, Questions, Dealing on Known Facts, About the Polygraphic Subject, Who Cannot Ordinarily Lie To, and Designed to Produce a Little or No Emotional Change, A, Relevant Question, B, Irrelevant Question, C, Key Question, D, Padding Question. The correct answer is letter B, irrelevant question. Irrelevant questions are questions which create no impact and no relation to the focus of the investigation. It is only meant to get the subject ready for the questioning procedure. An example could be, what day is it today? On the other hand, a relevant question is one that deals with the real issue of concern to the investigation intended to overcome psychological excitement level and causes changes from the subject's physiological norm. These questions include asking whether the examinee perpetrated the target or knows who did it and perhaps questions about particular pieces of evidence that would incriminate the guilty person. Key questions are the question that your investigation is aiming to answer. It focuses on essential questions like who, what, why, when, where, and how to help identify and understand the situation and context clearly. It aims to elicit information and details about the crime that only a guilty subject would exhibit, such as the crime scene and the means of committing the crime.
padding questions, are similar in nature to the known relevant question, and fall within the realm of possibility of the information being sought. Based from the relevant question, did you steal from your office? A padding question for this would be, have you ever stolen anything in your life? Number 6, Pervert, who resorts to voyeurism, is commonly called A. Nymphomaniac B. Peeping Tom C. Exhibitionist D. Sadist The correct answer is Letter B. Peeping Tom Peeping Tom is a person who derives sexual pleasure from secretly watching people undressing or engaging in sexual activity. While nymphomaniac is a female, though occasionally a man, who has an excessive desire for sexual activity, especially with different partners. Exhibitionist is a person whose sexual gratification is obtained from the indecent exposure of one's genitals to a stranger. Sadist is a person who takes pleasure in inflicting pain, punishment, suffering or humiliation on others. Number 7, Stiffening of the Body After Death, is called A. Rigor Mortis, B. Lavor Mortis, C. Cadaveric Spasm, D. Hematoma The correct answer is letter A, Rigor Mortis, Rigor mortis is a chemical change resulting in a stiffening of the body's muscles following death, resulting from changes in the myofibrils of the muscle tissues. While lavor mortis is refers to the pooling of blood in the lower portion or dependent parts of the body after death, this results in a dark purple discoloration of the skin. cadaveric spasm is the immediate stiffening after death due to severe injury to the central nervous system or when there was great tension at time of death hematoma is a mass of usually clotted blood that forms in a tissue organ or body space as a result of a broken blood vessel Number 8. Tiny elevation, or hill-like structures, found on the fingers, palm, and soles, bearing a raw of sweat pores. A. Furrows. B. Sweat glands. C. Ridges. D. Tight lines. The correct answer is letter C. Ridges. This is how the ridges looks like. The two most prominent local ridge characteristics are ridge ending and ridge bifurcation. A ridge ending is defined as the point where a ridge ends abruptly. A ridge bifurcation is defined as the point where a ridge forks or diverges into branch ridges. The other characteristics of ridge are ridge island, ridge dot, and ridge enclosure. On the other hand, furrow is a long, narrow cut or fold found between well-formed 
or developed friction ridges. Sweat glands are small tubular structures of the skin that produces sweat for regulating human body temperature. Humans have three different types of sweat glands, eccrine, apocrine, and apocrine. Tight lines may be defined as the two innermost ridges, which start parallel, diverge, and surround or tend to surround the pattern area. Number 9. Distance from the optical center of the lens to the film, when the lens is focused at infinity. A. Focusing scale. B. Focal plane. C. Focal length. D. Depth of field. The correct answer is letter C. Focal length. The focal length of a lens is determined when the lens is focused at infinity. Lens focal length tells us the angle of view, how much of the scene will be captured, and the magnification, how large individual elements will be. The longer the focal length, the narrower the angle of view, and the higher the magnification. While focusing scale is the procedure whereby the photographer estimates or measures the distance to the subject and sets the camera's focusing ring or lever to the correct distance. Focal plane is a plane that is perpendicular to the axis of a lens or mirror and passes through the focus. On the other hand, the depth of field is the distance between the nearest and the furthest objects that are in acceptably sharp focus in an image captured with a camera. Number 10. Process in photography, which entailing the removal of all unexposed and undeveloped silver halides. A. Printing, B. Stop bath, C. Fixing, D. Development. The correct answer is letter B. Stop bath. The stop bath, or water rinse step, stops the development process and removes excess developer from the film because developing agents cannot work in an acid solution. While, photographic printing, is the process of producing a final image on paper for viewing, using chemically sensitized paper. Photographic development, is the chemical means by which photographic film or paper, is, treated after photographic exposure to produce a negative or positive image. On the other hand, fixing that, is the process where the film loses its original silver halide milkiness overlaying the image and becomes clear hopefully you got some value out of this if you did please let us know in the comment section below thanks as always for watching our video there will always be next blessings to come in the next one god bless you